Okay, so we've got a survey of registered voters in New York City, yay. And it was carried out to assess support of the new school tax, 51% support. Great. Of those with school-age children, 56 support the chat tax. And then only 45 who did not have school-age children supported the tax. Okay. If a person who responds to this survey is selected at random, what is the probability that that person selected supports the school tax? All right. Well, here, I don't. They don't have us referencing uh, any um, any tables or specifics. I'm going to use that they gave us. So it says 51 percent or 0.51 supported. Done. That's the information right here. The person supports the school tax given that she does not have school age children. So 45% of those who did not have school age children supported the school tax. So the person supporting uh, the school tax given that she does not have school age children. So we know she doesn't have school age children. That's the part we know. And we know that 45% of those adults uh, do not support the child school tax. That's all we know. We know those two things. And so here we can put 0 0.45. Next, are the two events has school children and supports school tax independent? How do you know this? So they're not independent because the probability of support given no school age children is not the same as the probability of just support. So, so here we know that if you have the probability of, let's say, B given A, that has to equal uh, the probability of B if you want B to be independent. If the probability of A, given B is happening, has changed A and doesn't equal the probability of A, um, if they don't equal each other, they're not independent. If they don't equal each other, they're not independent. So if equal, this is what independence looks like from both perspectives. Independence. Right? If the conditional equals the probability itself in either order, then you know the events are independent. Next, suppose that 35% of those responding to the survey were over the age of 65. So 35% over 65. Okay, got it. 10% of those responding were both were both over age 65 and supported the school tax. So 10% um they respond to the survey and uh the <laughs> and the the 10% of those support responding to the survey were both over age 65 and supported the school tax so suppose so again suppose that 35% of the respondents to the survey were over the age of 65 and 10% of those responding to the survey were both over 65 and supported the school tax. Okay, so the first 35% is over 65 and the second 10% are over 65 and support the school tax. What is the probability that a randomly selected person who responded to the survey supported the school tax given that, that she was over the age of 65? So we know that she's over the age of 65, right? So we're looking for the probability that they support the school tax given what? Given that they were over age 65. So given that they were over 65 years old. And let's call, um, let's call support B and over 65A. What, what, what does that mean? So the probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B, or B and A, over the probability of A. So that means that uh, we want to know what that probability is, so we can just take the probability of both of them happening, and that's only 10%, uh, so 0.10, that's what we're given over here. And we're divided by the probability of A happening, which is over 65, which is 0.35. And it's about 28.6% or 0.286. Okay. And I think that's it for this one. Hope that helped.